So I've finally got my hands on Ford Superstar 2013, the EcoSport. I actually think this one is a megastar. And that's because this is powered by a 1.5 litre diesel motor. Let's find out what it's like, shall we? Now in this case, the EcoSport has borrowed not just the platform of the Fiesta, but even the 1.5 litre diesel engine. And that bodes well for the driver. First thing, the diesel engine impresses you with its refinement. It's quiet at idle, it doesn't have vibration, it doesn't feel harsh. It's only in the last 1000 RPM of its rev range that it gets a bit loud. And even if you take that into account, this diesel motor is definitely one of the smoothest ones around in this space. Then there's the power delivery, which is quite good. Below 1500 RPM, it could be more prompt, but past that, you just find that there's a very nice, smooth, linear punch coming in, none of that sudden turbo lag. So it is very easy to use, even in Stockholm city traffic. Now when you look at the roll-on acceleration times from 20 to 80 km an hour in third gear, you'll see that it isn't particularly quick. But you can't help but feel that the EcoSport is effortless to drive. You'll be sure to appreciate the light action of the clutch when you're driving around in stop-go city traffic. On an open road, the EcoSport diesel will take 13.7 seconds to reach 100 km an hour from standstill. And that is a bit slower than a big hatch like the Hyundai i20. And its top speed of 168 km an hour is roughly in the same region too. That's not all though, the 88.7 bhp of power is actually quite useful. Cruising on the highway at 100 km an hour with the engine doing just a little over 2000 rpm can be quite relaxing as well. So when you want to make an overtaking maneuver on the highway, you'll find that you'll want to sneak down a gear to get that extra shove of torque to make the move nice and quick. But even that has a silver lining, and that is the superb 5-speed gearbox. Now this gear shift is just so satisfying. Nice throw, and it has that nice mechanical feel to it, which just makes it all the more better. The EcoSport may be a compact SUV, but one area where it feels very much like a car is in the way it handles. And that is a definite plus. There's only a hint of body roll when you chuck it into a corner. And even when you press harder, it remains very well poised. It's got lots of grip from that 205 section rubber that's wrapped around 16 inch wheels. It's a real treat for the driver just like the petrol version. But there are some differences. Now the suspension on the diesel EcoSport certainly feels a bit stiff at the front, which has to do with compensating for the heavier diesel motor now. Normally, you won't feel that stiffness thunking through unless you hit big bumps or hit a choppy patch of road, where you'll find that there is a fair amount of up and down bobbing motion. Other than this, the EcoSport diesel is as good as the petrol variant. It's just as good looking and this titanium variant is just as well equipped. So we've driven the EcoSport with the diesel motor for several hundred kilometers and this is what we think. Has it blown us away? Not quite, but has it impressed us? Yes, and a lot. That's because this engine really has a breadth of talent. It is very capable, feels very efficient. In the city, you'll find that it's quite easy to drive, has good responsiveness, not particularly quick lowdown in the rev range, but definitely easy to drive. And out on the highway, it's got good punch too. You can cruise at triple digit speeds without much effort, though it can feel a bit strained when pushed hard. That aside, on the suspension front, it has a slightly stiffer front suspension, so over 
choppy surfaces, you will find that the cabin experience does get a bit bumpy. But overall, dynamically, this is still a great car, still rides well. And from behind the wheel, very, very enjoyable. Overall, the diesel motor complements the EcoSport package really quite well.